Do you remember that time you were sat in absolute silence, cut off from the rest of the world and being washed like a hawk with hundreds of others? I am, of course, talking about the last time you were sat in an exam hall. In particular, though, exams taken at the end of school often have millions of students answering the exact same questions, and yet the level of support each student received varies so drastically. Underfunded schools, oversized classrooms, and unequal distribution of access to resources create massive barriers to attainment. And in particular, if you live in an under-resourced exam system in a developing country, these inequalities are further exacerbated. Suddenly, this formalized exam system is an incredibly unfair playing field. I grew up as an expatriate in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and had the privilege to attend an international school offering the British curriculum. So I was doing the ITCSEs and A-level syllabuses at the end of school. The realization of educational inequality struck me then at 16, as I walked out of those first set of externally assessed exams and realized that neighboring schools were not able to provide the same level of support. So it just blew my mind to think, what would it be like for the hundreds of thousands of students who had done that same exact exam as me? So I did what I could do. I started a small blog to share some of the study revision notes I'd written for myself. And suddenly, through word of mouth, students from all over started to arrive on the website and use the content for their own revision. But here's when things get really interesting. Among the emails of gratitude that flooded my inbox, there were other students who wanted to get involved. Of course, I'd only been able to provide resources for a select few subjects, but here were students who wanted to contribute and support even more, one student at a time. Xenos began to support more and more subjects, and the platform transformed from that one-man band into an initiative being supported by a community of students from all over the world. It's been seven years since the WordPress blog was launched, and today Xenos has been able to reach over three and a half million students, garnering over 23 million hits from 156 different countries. With more than 100 contributors and team members, the support has expanded to seven different international exam boards, and alongside the revision notes, hundreds of hours of video content, podcasts, newsletters, all created for students by students. Of course, as we grew, it has been imperative to maintain the high quality of standard that we started off with. And so we do so with a highly selective and rigorous selection process, with only the highest academically achieving students contributing to the content and peer reviewing before final publication. But content is just one part of the solution. Oftentimes, the resources serve simply as attractors and the magic happened when students identified with each other. United against the same battle with the monster formalized assessments, they wanted to support each other through peer-to-peer -peer learning, and it was first observed in the comment section of the website. And it was further evolved and grew any stronger through the Discord server, now with over 10,000 members, each supporting each other in the subjects that they study. But alongside this, they're sharing advice and knowledge for their future, whether it's a university degree or an alternative career pathway. And it's the latter which adds an exciting new dimension, connected from all over with different socioeconomic and cultural backgrounds. These students are engaging in a way that is actually leading to social capital redistribution. One student could be coming from a generation of family members who've attended a higher education institution, while another may be the first in their family. Anonymized behind avatars and usernames, this insider knowledge that often live with the, only the highest social strata is now shared. With minimum infrastructure and costs, the community was self-organizing and creating large-scale social impact, educating people from all over the world at zero cost. So here's my proposition. What if we empower students to not simply be the consumers of education, but in fact, the creators, producers, and proponents of it? And this is not a novel or unheard of idea. In fact, it happens in and outside a classroom all the time, whether it's in a study group or in the common room as you struggle over the same question or concept, and suddenly your friend explains it with a ridiculous analogy, but it clicks and you have that eureka moment. In fact, meta-analysis conducted over decades of research and thousands of students found that without question, well-managed peer learning inevitably leads to better educational outcomes. Don't get me wrong, teachers are critical in the learning journey. Their pedagogical training is crucial to build a foundation for our futures. And their mentorship role is what plays and inspires us to think beyond the confines of a syllabus. But what if, as we try to uplift and revolutionize the global education system, we empower students so that they're not simply the passengers, but the pilots in their learning journey. And along the way, they're supporting their peers. In particular, for developing countries where education systems are under-resourced, 
This can form a powerful solution. Educational reform strategies often include curriculum redevelopment, infrastructural changes, and teacher training, which often cost billions of dollars and years of change. Instead, find those championing students with a global change-making attitude, and suddenly, by empowering them, you are seeing change now. In our experiences, the impact wasn't just visible among the users and community members, but in fact reflected right back at the team members and contributors, from getting scholarships to top universities, setting up their own NGOs, and leapfrogging their way in careers. These are just some of the things we've seen our team members go on to do, gaining the experience of working in a globally distributed organization with a social mission, helped them gain those entrepreneurial thinking skills and global change-making attitude. Education intrinsically links with every other UN SDG, from protecting our environments to healthcare and impartial legal systems. Achieving the targets in this decade of action will require much more than national level efforts, but in fact, the collective action from each of us and an educated population with a change-making attitude is crucial for the survival of our planet. Though it still blows my mind to think of the reach that Xenos has had in reality, the last seven years have simply been one of many experiments proving the potential and impact that young people can have in supporting each other. But with over a billion children heading to school every single day, and more importantly, the ones who are unable to do so, there is much work to be done. So let us empower students in driving the goal of ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education for all.